What does determination sound like? Hear that? That's the sound of limits being shattered. Grab a front row seat as we take you behind the scenes of our latest SFX production, Sounds of Determination. Real Paralympic athletes at the prime of their game. No matter what you're passionate about or what dream you're chasing, if you've ever faced a challenge and needed that extra push, you're in the right place. Before we break down the tech behind these sounds, first let's meet the real heroes that made them. For starters, meet Nico, two-time German national champion. These upcoming Paralympic Games in Paris will be his third, so he obviously knows a thing or two. Our game not, never really stops. You can make it really hard because you have to work with your hands, your arms. You might push for like sprint for 20 meters and then you get the ball and you have to shoot with your hands right away even though you like really work all the time with your hands. It's basically the same sport. It's just played in a wheelchair. It's, it's, it's just a little difference, yeah. That's Thomas, 2015 All-Star at the European Championships, three-time Paralympic veteran. I always hear when someone first comes into the gym and, and sees his first game, they're like, wow, that's so fast, so dynamic. Like when we fall on the ground and we get back up and yeah, they are, they are impressed. People don't know how much we train. Like every athlete trains every day. And if you don't, then you don't have any chance to play in the Paralympics. I'm training seven days a week. People think that ping pong is table tennis, but it's an insult for us. Why? It's kind of like ping pong is for the hood, it's for amateurs, and we're like professionals. <laughs> That's Carolyn, three-time Paralympic veteran, currently ranked sixth in the world at pair table tennis. Accompanying these three are four additional Paralympic athletes, each representing their own sport we were given exclusive access to record them during actual training sessions. And with the Paralympic Games right around the corner, you know that these weren't your standard training sessions, but sessions that could make or break their future. For the purpose of recording the athletes, we realized every sport requires a different tailored recording technique without ever interfering with their training routine. To record the kayak, our talented field recordist Avishai and his team had to follow the athlete around on a motorboat. To avoid the motor's noise, they attached the microphone to her hair so it hovered over her forehead, and then had to make sure they stayed in range to capture the sound. So keeping all these things in check and getting a clean recording was not easy. The hand biker was traveling at high speeds on a six kilometer path, so we had to put the device on a backpack and give it to his trainer to ride alongside him, allowing us to record while keeping pace with the athlete. As we worked to capture their sounds, we sat down with them a bit longer to try and uncover the source of their unbreakable spirit. I didn't know that I, I'm going to become an athlete. I was a super girly girl. <laughs> I loved my hair, my makeup, my nails. I even still have my nails done. When I was in second grade, I used to walk a little bit with a special equipment and there were two boys that were laughing at me. My entire body was half iron and they called me robot. Yeah, and I was crying. I took it really hard and my mom came. She said, what are you crying about? Like, do they know you? She didn't sugarcoat anything. She said, it's going to happen a lot in life. So you have to just be strong and suck it up. And the next day I asked to talk to the other classroom. So I said two sentences. I'm not a robot. I really love myself. And I went out of the classroom, was back in my classroom. And the break after those kids that were laughing about me asked if I want to play ball with them. And I was the goalkeeper, by the way. I was born like that, I'm used to it, so it's, for me it's, it's normal. So maybe I don't really see obstacles anymore because I'm just used to it or I know how to get around them. I struggle, yes, but I don't think that people without a disability in general don't struggle with, uh, with anything. When you train a lot and practice a lot, then you will see results and I think that kept me going. I went through everything in life. I've heard everything. If only I think my disability mentally 
helped me become a better athlete, yeah. I don't like the phrase practice makes perfect because I think you never reach perfection and that shouldn't be the goal. The goal is just to become better every day. Then I think that's something as a filmmaker also you have to consider being someone who wants to make others better ab around you. If you really believe in your idea, what you want to put out to the world, you don't need any tips from anybody, just make a good film. <laughs> As creators, we face our own hurdles every day. That's why we can learn a lot from these athletes. Their dedication, their drive to improve, their ability to adapt. These are the same qualities that make great creators. We've captured that spirit in every sound, giving you a powerful tool to elevate your work. These sound effects bring an unparalleled level of authenticity that regular sound effects simply can't match. Be inspired to approach your audio choices with this level of intentionality and emotional resonance. If these athletes have proven anything, it's that limits are meant to be shattered. Now it's your turn.